Today's children's sermon, we're presenting our Bibles to our fourth graders like we do every year. And I want to introduce who we have, and I'll get them to wave their hands. So we have J.J. Rouse, and J.J. is the son of Mary Lane and Jason Rouse. And we have Hay Skidmore. And Hay is, is the son of Lindsay and Stanley Skidmore. And we have Fisher Blanton. And Fisher is the son of Harley and Dwayne Blanton. And we're glad y'all are here. And we're doing it by Zoom. But uh, every year we give the Bibles. And so they each have the Bible that we presented. And so guys, can you hold them up so people can see what they look like? They're wrapped up just in plain brown paper. And... You might wonder why it's wrapped that way. Well, we're going to unwrap four different times. And the brown paper reminds us that the Bible is really old. Um, there's some parts in the Bible that are 3,000 years old, some stories. And most of them are 2,000 years old. And you might wonder, well, how could something that's 2,000 years old have anything to say to me? Well, that's the thing about the Bible is... Doesn't matter how old it is, it always has something important to say to us. Okay, go ahead and take off the brown paper. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> and when you get it off, hold it up so people can see what it looks like this time. Yeah, it's bright. So gold paper, um, in the Bible, it says, God, your word is more valuable than gold. Now, gold costs a lot of money, and people like to have a lot of gold. But God's word is very precious, very valuable, because it teaches us about God and about Jesus. Okay, unwrap that layer and see what's underneath there. Okay, hold it up so we can all see. Yeah, the funny papers, the comics from the Sunday newspaper. You might be wondering, what in the world? Well, when you read the comics, they make you laugh and they make you feel good and they can bring you some joy. And that, the Bible, is good news. And it brings a lot of joy to your heart and to your life. So that's why it's wrapped up in the comics. One more time, unwrap that, and we'll get to the last wrapping. So the last wrapping is white paper, and the white is a symbol or represents that the Bible is holy. So you might hear somebody talk about the Holy Bible. And holy is a word that means set apart. So if something is holy, that means it's reserved. It's set apart for God's use, and God sets it apart. So God's word is holy because it's got a, a purpose, a use, and that's to teach us about God and to teach us about Jesus. Okay, you can unwrap it and you'll finally see the Bible. So I'm going to let you, after we finish the children's sermon, you can look through it with your mom and dad, look through it on your own. It has your name in it, and the day's date from the church. But that Bible has a lot of things in it, maps and pictures and little articles and things to think about. And the church hopes that you'll enjoy using your Bible, and we're glad to give it to you. So whenever we get back together and you can start coming to Sunday school again or other things, you can bring your Bible with you. And I hope you'll read it and think about it and learn a lot about it. So let's have a prayer together. Let's pray. 
Dear God, we thank you for the Bible, for your word. Even though it's old, it has something to say to us. It's very valuable. It brings us joy. And it's a gift from you. Lord, I pray that you'll bless JJ and Hayes and Fisher as they read your word and learn more about you and about Jesus. We pray in his name. Amen. Guys, it's good to be with you. Thanks Thank for joining you. us, and I hope you enjoy your Bible. Thank you. Thank You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.